Welcome back. If you just joined us, you're just in time because we have our final guest in the studio and we just saw his music video. That was um, a video of a song, Ajay, that was released last year. We're here to talk about his brand new single and projects for 2024. Of course, I'm not going to be doing this by myself. I'm joined by Yande and uh, our very special guest this morning is the one and only Porsche Bugatti. Good Ooh. morning. Morning. <laughs> Good to have you in the studio. Looking fresh and fly. Thank you. I kind of feel left out because both of you now are wearing shades and I'm like, you know, I'm Maybe like the odd guy. At that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Porsche Bugatti, um, for those who haven't met you before, you've been uh, we are here a few times on the radio for mm. Rhythm Night 3.7, but for those who haven't met you before, let's get to know you all over again. Okay, my name is Porsche Bugatti and I'm a songwriter. And I'm also a philanthropist, like I used to say. Hmm. I like. Okay, it's so that means he's going to be doling out money on the show today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joy everywhere. Nice. Share the love. <laughs> nice. Okay, so prior to this time, last year you released um, the song Ajay. There was also an international collaboration with the artist Egyptian, yeah. right? Now, uh, you also released um, Outsiders, right? Mm -hmm. And, of course, which is your latest single. So talk to us about some of those projects that you put out. Uh, well, um, actually, Outsiders video is going to be dropping this week, um, on Thursday this week. And uh, the song was released on the 23rd of November. And since then, it's been doing really wonderful in, on TikTok and across all social media platforms. So I just want everybody to look out for the video. It's dope, it's enigmatic, and it's going to take you to a realm beyond. It's not just going to be like the normal, natural kind of videos mm. that we often see, you know. It's not the latest thing, like the shake, shake thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I know that you and uh, Yandy often hang out at different events, you know. They've performed at different places. But generally, Yandy, um, mm. you know, performing as an artist, you know, and also being an artist is mm. two different things. So generally, how do you guys manage it? Well, it's, it's kind of like, you know, like... Posh said, I know Posh should be able to relate. When you're a songwriter, you're able to feel the spirit of the music mm -hmm. that you are trying to give out. So when it comes to performance, all you need to do is just tap into that energy. Mm. You know, so then it just gives you this um, otherworldly feeling of how you can put out or, or you know, display your music or what it's, what it's trying to achieve with more than just words. For example, we saw Burner Boy perform at the, the Grammys, mm. right? I loved it. Some people thought the, 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 the performance wasn't standard, right? Some people thought it wasn't... Uh, we've seen better performances. I thought it was great. I don't know about you guys. What do you guys think about the, the performance and the Grammys in general? Porsche? Well, I, I feel people will have different opinions for me, but uh, I think his performance was wonderful. And uh, I think we, we as Nigerians should give him his flowers, you know, winning the Grammy or not. You understand? He has won it before and he's still going to win it. I don't think it's going to be the last time. So we don't win every day, of course. You know, and sometimes we lose for other people to win too. Mm. Yeah. Yandy, yeah, how about yeah. you? Well, that's I agree. The performance is because without a doubt, is he's 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 burner and he does his thing. He mm. doesn't like when he performs, he performs. You know, it's burner. So you can't really take anything away from him in that yeah. regard. You know, he's won just by performing. Yeah. But now the Grammys in general, a lot of us are saying that we got robbed. Well, yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, and that's yeah, the yeah. I was saving that for last, I don't actually. Think anybody was robbed. So, yeah. wait, David was nominated in three categories. Way. And just like our, our, our last guest just said, uh, you know, Rex, he was like, Afrobeat was partially used to promote the Grammys this Rex. year. In fact, the new category that's created, Rex. the best African performance was built on the back of Afrobeat music. And then Rex. to have Ashake, Arya Star, you know, mm. all of these superstars in one category and then none of them win. It, I don't know, it's a bit shady for me, if you ask me. What do you think? Well, um, I really can't see anything being shady about that, you know. We, know. we all know how the Grammy, we know how it's been formed from time, you know. And um, we even have artists like Nicki Minaj, who has never won a Grammy before. And uh, we also have Snoop Dogg, he has never won a Grammy before. So I, I feel it's no big deal, mm. you know. That doesn't validate the artist, mm. you know, you are who you are. Bonner, the video, they are all wonderful artists and the world knows that and you know everybody's feeling there and everybody's vibing to our tune. I think I think for for us to be to have a category in the Grammy, I think it's a plus and it it, it, it uh, represents growth mm -hmm. in the industry. All right. Well um 
circling back to your music now, let's talk about your plans for 2024. I know that you put out three projects last year. There are two videos already. Um, what are the plans? Is there an EP? Is there an album? Are you going to be recording more songs? What's the plan for 2024? <laughs> the plan is <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. I don't even know. No, how start to from somewhere now. We're going to see more collaborations is, uh, for, from well, you. Well, definitely, we're going to be seeing more of you know Nigerian collaboration. And uh, like I told you, the video is going to be out on Thursday. Yes. The outsider video, and uh, right after that, uh, we have another single that is dropping this month. You know, so for now, we don't really have a plan of you know dropping an EP or an album. But it's just gonna be singles, singles, back to back, back to back, you know, cooking and building the catalog. All right, I like, I like it. Um, as far as philanthropy is concerned as well, you said you're a philanthropist. I oh, mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they what are the know. charity works that you have for the year? I mean, for is the there year? any plan for, for. You know, like, um, I think when it has to do with charitable acts, like, I'm one person who doesn't like bringing the camera to the you know, to the front of, you know, what you things do. of I do. So I would like to like, you know, like the Bible says, can we bring in the Bible? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not much of a church folk. Maybe uh... <laughs> See, if your right hand is giving, you know, don't let... Your okay, yeah, your left yeah, hand, I know what you're doing. So, you know, I don't need to like, the fact that we don't bring the camera to the things we do, mm. doesn't mean we don't do them. We just do it form. because you know it's mm. from the heart and that's yes. pure love mm. fantastic all right um just before we let you leave and before we wrap up this side of the show i'm sure uh the fans are there will want to know where they can find your music and also how they can find you on social platforms. okay all the beautiful people of lagos <laughs> i will drop my social media platforms handles sorry uh on TikTok is at posh bugatti and then on Instagram is Posh Bugatti Official. Same thing on Facebook. All right. Well, ladies and gents, we're about to wrap up this side of the show. We have a word for the day, and it's going to be displayed on your screen right about now. And also, I know that a lot of people wanted to get into the conversation for the Grammys, and uh, <laughs> my producers were singing into my ears right now that there are so many comments you know, from the back end. But really quickly, before I, before I let you gentlemen leave, um, mm. final thoughts on um, Grammy performances, not performance rather, Grammy Awards, uh, and also generally how you think we can do better going forward as far as Afrobeat music is concerned. Yande? Um, I'll just say we need to take our, our own award ceremonies more seriously because then these people cannot now use us to promote their thing in terms of clearly whitewashing it, the category, okay. and then saying it's an Afrobeat category. So if we take our own things like the headies seriously, and we actually show up as big artists. So you feel like we don't have enough music award ceremonies? No, we do. We don't take it seriously. We do, but we don't just take it seriously because we feel we're bigger than it. Okay. All right. Posh, how about um, you? Well, I think uh, to an extent I agree. Yeah, but um, I think it just started for me. You know, the Nigerian music industry is at its peak, you know, it's mm -hmm. gone beyond the sky. It's heading for zenith areas, you mm -hmm. know. So I feel like, you know, with all the achievements and everything that we have on ground right now, I think all we just need to do is to keep building and keep building on our craft. All right. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen, for stopping by. Uh, of course, Yandi is still very much with us, but <laughs> that's our show. Uh, before we leave, though, don't forget the Silverbird Man of the Year. And uh, we have the influencer category where you get to you know, nominate your favorite influencer uh, in, the <laughs> in the various categories. Um, we have Very Dark Man. We have Aproco Doctor. So all you have to do is just head on down to the website, Silverbird Man of the Year. Vote and, you know... Uh, we'll see if your favorite influencer becomes that influencer. There are also various categories as well that you can join. Word of the day is, um, it's going to be displayed on your screen, but uh, while we wait for that to be displayed on your screen, um, it's whatever the mind can conceive. Yes, only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. So that's... Mm. Um, that's uh, our word for the day. My name is Kyrie Baker. And of course, keep in touch with us here at Silverbird TV across all platforms. See you again tomorrow with Tulu and Bridget.